Hey everybody, she's back. Hi again, this is Jill from She Shaves with Jill. Um, I have to give out some thank yous and some shout outs. Um, since I've been in the, the, the wet shaving community, I watch a lot of videos. Uh, even before I started, I watched it because I wanted to check out razors and soaps and product and whatever. And I watched a multitude of hours, like I'm sure a lot of you have. And I'm pretty active on, on, on the uh, commenting uh, on these different YouTube channels. Instead of just sitting there, they want feedback from everybody. But my first shout out has got to go to my favorite, my favorite person, my biggest cheerleader ever, and that's Gary. Gary, you are a charm. You are my best cheerleader. And that, folks, if you don't know who I'm talking about, is Gary from Cincy Shaves. Ever since, and, and it's been going on for about three or four months because I go in there and I comment a lot on his channel, on his videos. And for months, I've been threatening to start my own YouTube channel, right? And every time I do... Gary is, you know, rah, rah, rah. Come on, Joel, just do it. It's easy to set up a YouTube channel. Anybody can do it, even you. So he and Flash Boredom, hilarious, and Jimco Shaving Experience, they've all been my cheerleaders, like pushing me, prodding me, coercing me to start my channel. So a big shout out to you guys. The, uh, the other shout outs I want to give to are some very special people that I really, uh, <laughs> they're a lot of people's heroes. And I'm talking about the big hitters. We're talking about Paul H. Films. We're talking about Kevy Shaves, hilarious, both of those gentlemen. We're talking about Ken Serves. We're talking about the big guys, you know? And after seeing my, uh, my first video, uploaded. Each and every one of them has promoted my new channel on their own channel. They've even gone to the lengths of putting the link for my channel and telling people or asking people, you know, you really need to go check out Jill's channel. So to you guys, I wouldn't have the, I'm just overwhelmed by the views I've got by the uh, subscriptions I've got so far. And I hope to keep that up. I hope to do more and more videos because what I learned from them, I wanna be for somebody else too. I wanna give a woman's uh, perspective on wet shaving uh, and that sort of thing. And let's get into the meat of today's video, okay? Let's do it. Uh, I got a new brush and uh, I don't have it here because it's in the fridge. And I'll go into that later. Um, wet shavers that have turned it into a hobby more than just having one brush, one soap, and, you know, one razor and one kind of blade, we fall down the rabbit hole and we buy a lot of brushes and we should be keeping them clean. After every time I shave, I rinse it out thoroughly and I give it a, a good, uh, especially the natural hair brushes. We don't so much have to uh, rub out a uh, synthetic brush as much we we would do with a uh, natural hair, like a uh, <clears throat> boar or a badger or horse hair. But after time, they uh, accumulate oils and everything from the, the products that we use, the soaps we use, pre-shaves, whatever, and they can become gunked up even if we rinse them daily and maybe not produce as well as they used to. So I, like a lot of you, if you've watched videos, that's where I got it from. When I did a deep, what I call a deep cleaning of my brushes uh, to bring them back to life, um, first it would it was the soak, soaking in dishwashing detergent. You know, doing a hand lather, putting it in the water, leaving, soaking it for 10 minutes then taking it out and rinsing that out really, really good. And then doing a water and vinegar soak uh, for, you know, five, 10 minutes, taking that out, rinsing that out, 
putting hair shampoo on it, rubbing that in, working it into the bristles, maybe soaking that too for five, 10 minutes, and taking that out. Oh my God, it's exhausting. And then maybe putting a conditioner, hair conditioner on it, rubbing that out, rinsing it real good. And that becomes tedious when you have a lot of brushes. So I have been meaning to buy this product for, I don't know, ages, because it just, it just seems like a no brainer. So I finally did. I ordered it and I got it today. And I am going to show you what I'm talking about. It is the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Brush Soap. I think that pretty much says it all. It's for cleaning your brushes, duh. It's, <laughs> it's a nifty looking little thing. It's a little cute. It's got these little nubbies. It's, you know, I, think I almost want to massage myself with it, but that's not the purpose. But it's got these little nubbies. Now, some of the ingredients in this is borax, which is a soap and vinegar. So duh, that's part of the pro that's two different parts of that process I just described, right? It's also got some other ingredients that are really good. And it's got glycerin in it. We know how great that is. It's got purified water, propylene glycol. We know that's great. It's got aloe vera uh, leaf juice powder, sodium stearate, sodium laurate, sodium borate, white vinegar, and fragrance. So it's got all those steps wrapped up in one little bar of soap. This, my friends, is what you do and how you use it. I've got that nasty smoke that's been soaking for a good hmm, 20 minutes. And what you do is you get your, you get that real wet and you wet the soap also, okay? And you start going in a figure eight. Start going in a figure eight on it. Just keep going. And these nubs really get it into the brush and just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. I'm gonna do this for about 20 seconds one way. And you can see the lather start coming up. This is not lather you use on your face, so please don't do that. So, I don't know, let's see. Keep doing that in a figure eight so you get it deep into that brush. And then, and then reverse the figure eight. Some people can't chew gum and walk at the same time and reverse it very easily. So they'll just, you know, do one of these, but I'm coordinated. I can do that. So let's do another 20 seconds of this. Mm, la, 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 la. Anybody keeping time? Almost there. All right, I think we pretty much did that. So now you've got all this on your brush, okay? Waste not, want not, I'm gonna put that on the brush. And what you do now is this uh, soap also comes with a comb. It's got wide tooth and it's got smaller teeth. And you start brushing that through or combing it through. Just comb it through. I put it back on and just comb it through. Don't force it. If you've got some gunk so built up in there and you've got some knots on your bristles, don't force it. You're going to ruin your brush. But just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. You can separate it here in the middle and comb that so that you work it into that brush really, really good. Just keep doing that until all of those bristles you can feel. Now, I prefer when I, I every time I clean my brushes, even after the, you know, the daily use, I like a really big comb like this. And it's, it's really wide tooth. And I like that a lot. So you just work that into it. And what I like to do also is do a hand lather on it too. So it really gets in there. 
It really gets in there. Now, if it's a new brush and not this funky old Samoog 1305 I have, to get rid of the funk and smell of a new uh, natural hair brush, and I'm gonna do that again. And I'm gonna put that back in there. Get that on my hand. What you can do then is just sit this on your sink and leave it overnight for 24 hours. Leave it overnight, keep it there for 24 hours, and then come back and then rinse it thoroughly. And that's gonna help. Um, I have, uh, let's go back to the uh, the uh, brush I'm talking about. I bought one of those, and I, God, I forgot to uh, make a little note to myself here uh, for the number of the uh, brush, but it's an Omega, and it, they nicknamed it the Mighty Midget. And this thing is so tiny, it's so cute, and it's only a 20 millimeter knot in it. And I'll rinse that out later. Um, and then, oh, by the way, when you're done with this soap, rinse it off thoroughly and put that on your counter or wherever and let it dry. Let it dry for 24 hours, like you would uh, a soap that you use on a shave. Let that dry out. And inside, I somehow I lost the one that actually came with it, I think. But um, it comes with a baggie. And then after it's thoroughly dried out, you put it in the baggie. And put it away until it's time to do clean and deep clean another brush. Or uh, get the funk out of a brand new brush. So... That, my friends, is how to use that particular product. And I'm glad I bought it, and I can't wait to see if I get uh, good results. And I am going to be um, uh, using it on my little Mighty Midget uh, Omega brush and uh, see how that does it. I've already done the cleansing with the dish detergent and uh, left that overnight, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apply this to it, too. And... That's it on that product. So I hope uh, some of you might want to pick it up or think it might be a good product for you to use. Now, for the ending of this video, I've got to do, uh, wow, I, my mind's just blown. So many people, like I said, have been supportive, but this is something special. I mean, special to me, and I hope you think it is. Um, the guys over at West Coast Shaving, one of my favorite vendors, I, I have so much stuff from them. They have so many good products, a variation of products. The um, Abe, Abe, a big shout out to Abe over at West Coast Shaving. Um, he's noticed me and he'll always come because I watch the West Coast Shaving uh, daily shave videos. And I'll comment on, on their videos. I like to stay active to let these reviewers and stuff know that they're appreciated. So they've noticed me. And Abe approached me and he said, um, Jill, would you consider doing a spotlight video for us on the West Coast Shaving Daily Shave? And I was blown away. What a compliment. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm new to YouTubing, but for them to do it. So he approached the bosses, the higher ups, the big bosses, the big dogs at West Coast and said, hey, I got this gal Jill that I watch and I, she's hilarious, she's funny. And I think it'd be great for us to, to uh, ask her if she'd do a video for us on the Daily Shea videos. And the bosses said, oh yeah, we noticed her. She, she's really active. So I took them up on the offer to do a video, and I hope that on next Wednesday, six days from today, you'll go and look at the West Coast Shaving Daily Shave video that I'm going to be doing, and they're going to be posting. So that's it. I'll post the uh, link if you're not already uh, subscribed to West Coast Shaving. I'll uh, post a link in the comment section under my uh, picture. And I think that's a wrap. Again, thank you to everybody. And thank you to the West Coast Shaving Daily uh, Shave guys 
because you have also been plugging my show. So you guys are awesome too. You've been giving me great support. You always have. So thank you. Bless you all. And I can't wait to keep doing these. Bye, guys.